I guess one of the things that, uh, or one of the terms that I've been associated with is this marginal gains idea. Um, it's something that I, I came up with a few years ago um, in order to try and describe what was then more of a philosophy than an actual tangible, it's this, this, this and this. And basically the idea was pretty simple. It struck me that in all of the work that we were doing in trying to improve cycling performances, that actually if you strip back everything that you could think of and improve each one by a small percentage, a marginal percentage, a marginal amount, then when you clump it all together, you get this big improvement. So I think back in maybe around 2004, after the Athens Games, we started to think about these ideas. We had a situation where I could walk into the mechanics room here at the velodrome and we'd look at a, I could look at a wheel and the tyres are stuck on the wheel. And if the tyre wasn't quite straight, I would say to the mechanic, actually, uh, you know, guys, hey, listen, I don't think this tyre's stuck absolutely straight here we it might not you know the, the 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 rolling resistance might not be quite right and the answer i used to get is dave you're not a mechanic that's our job you can leave that to me thanks very much which of course is highly ineffective in, in, in a team where we're trying to all improve having worked on this idea of marginal gains and where can we make little improvements and who can find what if I now went into the mechanics room and I said the same thing, hey guys, listen, this tire's not stuck on straight, what do you think? I'm absolutely convinced that the answer I would now get is, oh, cheers, Dave. I'm, uh, thanks for pointing it out. Uh, yeah, brilliant, thanks very much. I'm gonna put that right, brilliant. Because we're in the right mindset. We're looking for little things collectively all the time that's gonna make us improve. We're open-minded to it. We're open-minded to new ideas. We don't see it as somebody scrutinising an area. We don't see it as criticism of me not doing something I'm meant to be doing. And that's the kind of philosophy that we wanted to develop. When we then actually think about what do marginal gains look like, I think that some of the relevant things that, are, you know, that spring to mind, we, in the Tour de France, we race for 21 days and Bradley and the team will stay in a different hotel for 21 consecutive nights. We don't know what kind of beds they're going to be sleeping in. We don't know what kind of pillows they're going to get. And when you think about it, their posture will change. They'll be sleeping in a different position with a different pillow every single night. For a highly trained athlete who's racing six hours a day, you couldn't think of a worse way of going about it. So what we now do, we decided we created our own bedding, which was made for each individual athlete, their length, their weight, how they sleep, their posture. We have a team that goes ahead of the race they clear out each hotel room, they take the beds out, and we put our own beds in with the same pillow. So every single night, the riders will sleep in a consistent position on a consistent bed, and absolutely the posture will remain the same. That is a marginal gain. It's not gonna win you the Tour de France, but it can make a little, little difference towards helping the, the, uh, the performance. I think another area, a good example may be that we spend an awful lot of time in meetings, as I'm sure you do, I'm sure a lot of us do, in our working lives. But it does strike me that if we measured the time we spent in meetings and we measured the effectiveness of that time, the results don't really represent the time and input that go into meetings. So as a very simple marginal gain, I decided that we would actually look at our meeting structure. We have the same now, exactly the same uh, format for agendas. We have the same format for minute taking. We have the same format for following up on actions. We have the same format when people come in, you don't use your phone. We have the same format of you do your work before you get there. When we come in there, we know what the outcome is. So we always start with what is the outcome that we're looking for out of this meeting. We spend our time talking about that and it's quite clear how to work towards it. And I think that we moved from ineffective meetings to what are now very effective, productive meetings where people come in ready, they're prepared, they can read the minutes because they know how it works and they, they can read the minutes of any meeting that's gone in the, in, in, in the team in any different area and immediately it makes sense to them. We know how things are going to be followed up and we get our jobs done in a very time efficient way. That to me is a marginal gain. So I think there's two examples there of maybe the mindset that we try and put to work to make things better.